Brett Cooper is an actress. Just remember that, guys. She's an actress. It's it's literally in her fucking description. <laughs> she is a childhood a child actress, whatever. I don't know how to call it, but she she that she is an actress first. I remember in high school when people would ask me about uh Drake. I said high school. Yeah, high school. In high school. And I would always say the same thing, guys, he's an actor. In college, when people would ask me about Drake, my one of my roommates in college, still friends with him uh to this day. I'd be like, "Remember, he's an actor. He is an actor first. This is why I cannot trust him." Because he's really just playing the role of a rapper and doing a pretty good, a damn good job at it. A real good job at it. Drake has been playing this role as a rapper for how many years? <laughs> and now, dude, I'm talking about doing a, a great job. High school, uh, high school musical level. Good job. And this is why I don't trust Brett Cooper. She is an actress. She's great at acting. Now, for some reason, I don't know why this does not compute. With the uh, conservative male simps, I, I I don't I don't get it, but I understand why. Like I remember calling out. I remember I was in high school calling out Tommy Lauren because she would put bad information out there, not <laughs> like just not backed up by facts, and she didn't realize you're you're there not because of your intellect. You're there because conservatives find you hot at the time, and you can just kind of say what you want and you know. As long as you stay on the conservative route in America, you'll be fine. And <laughs> lo and behold, years later, almost, I think, what was it 2016? I was calling out Tommy Lawrence. So what year? Yeah, I think, what, 2019 or 2020 when she's talking about all men are trash. <laughs> so what, four or five years later that she's, she started slipping and really even years prior to that. People started kind of getting off of her, uh, her, uh, her, her, um, her, um, I guess her parade, her back when they found out that she was pro-abortion. I'm like, of course she's pro-abortion. <laughs> she's a feminist. I promise you. <laughs> I, I said, I've been saying that. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I remember saying, I, I wouldn't even be surprised if she's had, a, she done killed a child or two. I, I'm like, I'm like, I won't even be surprised. And then everything comes out about her. You know, that's why, you know, I already did an episode. Let me go back to Brett Cooper here. I don't want to get too off track. I already did a episode, kind of a live stream on Brett Cooper, but I didn't dive in. You know, since I have some time, I might look up some stuff, see what's up with her. Um, apparently, she's getting married. She's engaged. Um, <laughs> but uh, in that Brett Cooper live stream, I did. I kind of put her as the thumbnail. Um, I basically went in on kind of conservative women, the so-called like the trad thoughts. I kind of went in on them in general. Basically, they're no different from liberal women where they still want men to sacrifice themselves for women that hate them. So it's not <laughs> it's really it's really no different. It's really no different from um, the feminazis. Right. The the liberal women is really no difference in, in my in my opinion. I've had that opinion since. Like I've had that opinion since I was a kid. Like for me, like I've never really saw the the difference between the liberal woman and the conservative woman. I really never saw it. And maybe I used to think ah, maybe I'm just not that educated on it. But the older I get, I'm literally like, no, nah, there's no difference. So let's look at because I did make a video about Brett Cooper where I I showed an old I showed an old live stream of mine where I was talking about Brett Cooper. I was like, how are you? 23 or 24 white and you still single and unmarried like <laughs> i'm like what 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 the hell are you looking for out there so but i guess things have changed so let's 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 do some research on this i just find it interesting though because when i try to find out who actually brett cooper got engaged to um it's like i can't find out <laughs> It's like, I'm like, she's trying to do a soft launch on her fiance. What kind of shit is that? Oh, yeah. And speaking of, I remember we were talking about Tommy Lauren. When she was talking about all men are trash. Really, she was just mad at herself because she tried a monkey branch 
off of her boyfriend, who was a Chad, really. Who was really in all by all metrics was a Chad, but he wasn't a former professional. So he was a former semi-pro soccer player and he was trying to become mayor or something. And Tommy Lauren was just looking at him like, eh, I can do better. <laughs> and not really, really realizing. I, I talked about this in one of my other videos. These IG models, because of their followers that they have or these female moderators, female TV anchors, they think they're on the level up here, but really they're on a level down here. You know, so let's look up something. Brett Cooper. Fiance. Ah, here we go. People were searching already. You see, this is some bull. This is why I don't like. This is why I don't like. This is why I don't like. Hold on. I'm about to pull up this article for you guys. Because I remember seeing the pictures, right? And first of all, I don't understand what the hype of, about Brett Cooper and her being like super pretty, even though I'm not, I'm not the one to talk. But <laughs> I'm, I'm saying like she literally looks like Ben Shapiro in drag. And <laughs> these ninjas was on my neck about talking about her. And I, I, I don't see the hype. I don't see the hype. But like I said, to you know, it, <laughs> the bar is very low in terms of, you know, White conservatives like to talk about black people, but sometimes, but like it's the equivalent of, you know, how like black people just accept like a white dude in their space just because he can dance. Same thing goes for like the white conservative males. All, all the girl has to or people in this Red Pill space, all the girl has to do is just say some things that you agree with and you already on her side. <laughs> it's crazy. But let me share this article with you. Brett Cooper is engaged to mystery fiance and men are distraught. I see. Oh, this is probably a liberal writing this article. I could be wrong, but I see a woman up there. So this is I'm automatically thinking this is a feminist. <laughs> Let me see. Because this, this is a research show. This is a bit of a research show. Let's see. Yeah, that's the that's the picture I saw. This is the yeah, this is the picture I saw. And she don't even show the dude's face. <laughs> She's trying to soft launch her fiance. Now, with that sideline, with that side pick, that dude looks significantly older. And it was interesting that Brett Cooper was making. I remember she had made a video about why are these guys not trying and where, you know, the same shit. Where are all the real men? <laughs> I'm like, oh, you mean like dudes with paper? You, you think they're supposed to be uh, hitting you up? I don't know why that ad popped up, but. That guy looks a little bit older, but I, I wouldn't I wouldn't blame her for that. But that would be interesting because I remember she had kind of dropped this video about how like young men are underachieving and blah, blah, blah. And it was basically when I saw that video, I literally I said at the time it was like, I think she's just basically setting up her path. So in the future, when she marries a, a guy that's like 10 years older than her, just, just, so that would be her, her excuse. <laughs> so, hey, that guy looks a little bit older. That guy looks a little bit older. Yeah, she basically puts the views on there. That guy looks a little bit older. He's got to be at least because Brett Cooper, she's like 23 or 22 or 24. One of these one of those three ages. That guy looks like mid 30s. That guy looks mid 30s, which there's nothing wrong with that. But it was interesting. <laughs> it's interesting how she was. She had that episode basically dissing young dudes and not acknowledging the real reason why behind young men's struggles. In this uh, day and age, it was it was interesting. <laughs> I had just okay. Let's let's see her uh, quote. She said, "I had just moved to a new city. I was suddenly a very public figure. That sounded terrifying to be dating while also being a public person." So I'm reading this. She said the YouTuber also revealed that they grew up a few miles away from each other and she used to hang out with his sister. Well, that's how it's supposed to work. You're supposed to be like dating is more successful when you're when you're sourcing from your social circles, cir circles, you know, from your school, right? Your job, uh, 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 church, you know, stuff like that, you know, but, you know, in this day and age is. You know, you can't date at work. Really can't date uh, at school because a lot of those college girls, they got sugar daddies now. 
they're not trying to build no more. So <laughs> let me see. Men are distraught on Twitter. Men are joking that their lives are over. Then Brett is engaged. He said, just fell to my knees in target. Well, I guess, you know, <laughs> I guess that's the, um, she was the last hope. What is it? Let me see. She, she says something interesting. She used to hang out with his sister. Can't really do no research on that. <laughs> but yeah, those are the pictures that I saw. These are the pictures that I saw. And, you know, oh, yeah, congratulations to her, though. Congratulations. Um, it's interesting that he won't. I mean, they, they like to say, yeah, my dating life is private. But, you know, Janae Ickle said the same thing. <laughs> like, I already I already I told you the the story about Janae Aiko. Um, anybody that knows who Janae Aiko is, um, female artist, thought, but came in, kept her dating life private. Not everybody knew that she was married to Dot the genius. But the reason why she had it like that is because she was still monkey branching out there. And with her success rising and she was now not like some just a feature artist because that's kind of what she was from for, for a little while especially like around 2010 2009 2008 2009 2010 2011 her breakout year was kind of i would say 2013 2014 was basically her breakout year because she was still dropping mixtapes and whatnot yeah my music my my music uh knowledge sometimes is a little bit weird <laughs> that i know shit like that but I, I'm, t I'm speaking facts right now so as she rose, nobody really knew she was married to Dot the Dot the Genius, Kid Cudi's one of Kid Cudi's producers. And as she monkey branched, she found Big Sean. And Janae Aiko was the type to keep her dating life private and all of that stuff private. She never even post. She never posted who her husband was on her Instagram until she met Big Sean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, and she made that public i mean i remember in 20 I, t I said this in one of my other videos in 2013 when she dropped the collab project with big sean she was still married to dot genius one of the trailers for the music video of one of the the tracks on the on the project dropped and it was that her and big sean doing some wild shit and she had like an orange wig or some shit on i don't know if anybody remembers that <laughs> i don't i don't know <laughs> i don't know if anybody remembers this was in uh the winter of 2013 I think December 2013, if I'm not mistaken, November or December 2013, the trailer to one of the music videos dropped and it was of Janae Aiko and Big Sean doing some wild shit, <laughs> like wild shit. I'm like, wait, this is a music video or this is a porno shoot. Whoa. She and I'm talking about once her and Big Sean came out, she went public with that. She didn't hide that relationship. And I was like, oh, so this is how this game works sometime. Wow. I didn't know. <laughs> That's why I, I laugh with when women say, oh, I want to keep that private. I'm like, oh, yeah, so that, that nigga really ain't doing it. <laughs> Y'all can talk about private life and all that. Nah. You can miss me with that. I think she's still monkey branching. I, I that, that's, just my, that's just my opinion on Brett Cooper's situation. She, in her mind, wherever that guy is at, whoever he is, in her mind, she can do better. I, I, Cause she's looking at her follower count. I, I'm telling you how these hoes work out here. This is how they work. They, she really thinks she won't admit it. Cause like I said, she's a great actress. She's like, she's, that's why I say like Brett Cooper. She's way, she's better than most because she knows how to act. Literally it's in her. She, that's, that's her job is to act. So she knows how to like not put down certain men. She knows how to like say certain shit. I, because I, I sometimes see her talking. I'm like, Oh, she knows what she's doing out here. She know, she know, she know how to act in front of a camera. She know how like camera goes on. She knows how to how, how you how you do that shit. <laughs> she knows how to do that shit. She she knows how to play a personality, you know. So I think she's still monkey branching. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But it was just interesting, like you know, with Tommy Lauren's situation. It's something I saw coming too. But um, I, like I said, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't trust her. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't trust a whole lot of women that try to come into the space. And by the way, when it comes to the conservatives, just because you're a conservative does not mean you're RP. Like 
Bill Maher, I ho- I hope I'm saying his, his name right. He's more RP than most of these conservatives that claim that they're RP. And people might disagree with me on that, but I want you to look at Bill Maher's, look at his personal life. Look how he lives his life with freedom. And look what he says about, look at his uh, his comedy stand-up about marriage. I want you to look it up. If you guys have the, the, the chance, look up what he has to say about marriage. He's more RP than a lot of these. <laughs> Yo, it's interesting. I'm talking about the stuff that he says. You think he's, he's one of us, but like he can never really be completely because he's a liberal at heart. But I'm telling you, Bill Maher is more RP than he thinks, than he knows. And when you look at his personal life, when he talks about the money that he keeps, he's living you know, he's really living that like like that that like he has a freedom towards uh with his life where he knows how to move, he doesn't have to I, I kind of look at Bill Mardo the same way I look at Leonardo DiCaprio. Like these guys have it figured out. They're not going to say really. Now, Bill Maher uses his comedy to talk about the shit. That's what I need you guys to look up Bill Bill Maher, Bill Maher's uh <laughs> comedy on marriage. Just look it up, man. And the stuff that he says, he he put me onto a lot of game because he was one of the few people that I saw talking about marriage like he was. I'm talking about when I was uh in high school and I would see I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to completely believe this. But wow, that, I, I never heard of, heard about this before. So I got to give him his his proper his his credit. And if you ask the stuff that Bill Maher says today, if you ask the average uh femi- feminist liberals, they were. I remember Bill Maher was talking about trans students and whatnot, and, and blah blah blah, or in how basically how the alphabet community is going too far. Sometimes you should have seen the people in the comment section. They think he's a conservative, bro. I'm like that. This, like this, this new generation. If you're not pro rainbow, they think like you're <laughs> like right wing, right wing. They think you right wing. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like Bill Maher. Like he's literally the opposite of Bill O'Reilly. He's like super liberal. <laughs> But, you know, I digress from there. Like, I, like I said, anybody that is a conservative, I need you guys to look up Bill Maher's comedy on marriage. It will it will make you think it will make you think. But when we talk about, I say Brett Cooper, Brett Cooper is basically like most of the trap thoughts out there. When we talk about Lily Rose, I think her name is. I made a video on her. These people, they still want men to sign bad deals. They still want men to sign bad deals. And as a man, you got to understand, you don't have to save these hoes no more. You don't. You don't have to save them no more. <laughs> it's like we have we're free. You know, this this is this is one of like you, you don't have to be a stepfather anymore. You don't have to take care of bitches no more. dog. <laughs> You're free to choose whatever path you want to go on. You don't have to be on a plantation. But people like Brett and, you know, what's, what's interesting now, you know, I'm not even going to bring up the other part, but I'll say this. Brett Cooper and Drake have a lot in common outside of just them being uh, actors and actresses. And they have a lot more in common um, na- nationality wise. And I'm going to just leave it at that. 